Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another episode of the 1.12.2 pack. And in the last episode we moved over to this new base area. As you can see we still got cobblestone pumping through the auto crafters which we uh, set up in the last episode. But the quarry has finished its cycle once again. And we've got all of this cool stuff. We've got a load of granite and andesite which... Uh, I don't can we like compress uh, we can make granite pavement but I don't really know what to do with all this granite you can make circuit plates out of it yeah we just seem to have a lot of granite you can make it into lava in a magma crucible okay anyway we got a load of granite dirt and decide that sort of thing but we also got a load of ores which have been uh, pulverizing up here and smelting up. But this system here needs sort of like updating. Because I believe with mechanism you can triple ores rather than double ores. Um, so we're going to work on that. But first things first we need to move the quarry. And I think what we're going to do is... I think we will put the quarry now against this wall here so we can uh, dig this way again and then we'll use this area here that the quarry cleared out we'll put um, this cobblestone over it and make it the next part of the base there we go we've got the quarry set back up to keep pumping away whilst we are making progress elsewhere but I think along this wall is where we're gonna have our ore tripling setup and yeah, I think tunneling into the mountain with the quarry essentially to make ourselves more space is pretty good. So I'm going to do some research on how to triple ores uh, and I'll come back once we have figured that out. Okay, so two things. I've doubled up our power. I've got another wind turbine. They're pretty easy to make. Now we're getting a good flow of ores into our uh, system, which, yeah, here. And uh, the quarry is just about going. It's just uh, setting up. But I figured out what we actually need for this ore tripling. So what we do is we start off with a purification chamber. If I could spell. So that's uh, this thing. Purification. Yeah. This one. Purification chamber. And what we need for that is some enriched oil alloy, some advanced circuits, an enrichment chamber. Yes, an enrichment chamber. And yeah, all this stuff. And this stuff's very easy to get. So we actually need two enrichment chambers uh, because the enrichment chamber again at the end is used right at the end to purify some dirty dust. So what we do is we put ore into the purification chamber and that makes three ore clumps. Then you put the ore clumps into a crusher, which is here. Again, quite easy to make. We just need to go get some lava. And that crushes it into three dirty dust. And then the dirty dust we put into an enrichment chamber, which we of course need another one to make the purification chamber, which is just easy. It's just a bit of steel casing, that sort of thing, to make it into clean dust. And then we just pump that into our uh, redstone furnace here to make triple ore which is pretty pretty fun so yeah whilst this is pumping away making ourselves some cobblestone I need to go out find some lava and get all the materials together so I was just coming down here over from our base uh, heading over to this volcano here and I actually found a lava lake right here so yeah we got the lava I think all we need now is just to head back up to the base and actually craft these things. So I think we have everything together to craft these things. Let's just not sprite click with the lava bucket and put it down, but sleep and get crafting. So I think I've collected up all of the resources I need. So if we go to a purification chamber, we need first things we need an enrichment chamber, which means we need a steel casing get three of them which is how many we need so that's good we need one for the crusher as well we need now two enrichment chambers we can make three but we don't want to do that they don't stack but that's okay and then the purification chamber yep okay and the crusher 
Yes, we add everything and stuff to spare, which is good. So yeah, we got everything and let's plop it down here. So the first thing is the purification chamber. I'm sure we can put like there. Then we need the crusher, which we'll put there. And then the enrichment chamber we'll put there. So what do we need for this to work? Um, okay, so we need to have a chest, which we can put there. Let's configure the sides, so let's have that be the input, that be the output, and then everything else off. Hello, there we go. So, auto eject. Is that auto input as well? I don't know. We don't have any ores to try it with. Um, any ores? No, none yet. But that should work. If not, we'll just put a pipe. In fact, let's just let's put a wooden pipe down just in case. So whack you there. Wooden pipe in there. Wrench. So that should then go into the input side, and it will auto eject it into the crusher. Which I believe, if auto ejects on, we just need these two. So set this up the same, and we want auto eject to be on that as well. And then the crusher, just need power, crushes it into uh, dust, and then auto eject into the enrichment chamber. We just need to make some more piping. Just need a couple bits of cobblestone, which we can easily get from over here. Right, let's go that one two and then one and then we'll put uh, a chest there in fact we'll put this chest there which will no we don't need a chest there actually because that is where the um dust is going to collect so we actually need the redstone furnace there and then the chest there which we can actually do like this so oh i've got i need to get some stone to put in there otherwise it's going to annoy me Let's grab you. Put you there. Have that be the input. No, that be the input. That be the out. No, not that one be the output, actually. The bottom needs to be the output. There we go. And then we just need to run a cable across the top of there to get power into it. In fact, let's run the cable across the bottom. It'll be a bit neater and we'll put the top as the output. So that should, in theory, work. Let me hook up some power because I need to make some more of these cables. Uh, and then we'll pop back. Okay, so I grabbed up some ore. There was a couple of iron ore as well as some copper. Uh, let's put it in here and see. Of course we need, we need an engine. Uh, lever. Do we have a redstone engine? No, but we can make one, I think. Yeah, let's make a redstone engine really quick. So we need a bit of iron, got some redstone. Right, let's make this redstone engine as quick as we possibly can to see if this will work. We need some gears. So I believe this is how you make a redstone engine. Yes, it is. For that memory, right. So we'll whack you there. You up there. And do we get anything happening? No. None. What do we need there? We need something. Hmm. Right, I'm going to go check it out and then we'll be back. So it turns out for the enrich uh, purification chamber to run, we need oxygen to be pumped into it. Which, I mean, may sound easy because obviously we're living on... Uh, the world where we breathe oxygen, but this is Minecraft, so it's not that easy. We actually need an electrolytic separator Which is this thing and oh lord we can almost make it in fact, I think we can make it Yeah, that's not too difficult at all and I need to figure out some way to pump water into it in order to break it down into oxygen Okay, so I can build this thing up now. That wasn't too hard at all. And what we need to do is we need to pump water into it. So if we put that just up there, we can hopefully pump oxygen out somehow. 
So there's a load of holes on each side to pump oxygen into. In fact, let me just rearrange this a little bit. So let me put that there, that there. Need to get power up to there, which we can just run this cable up and across. Let's get water in, then it will make hydrogen and oxygen, and you can actually dumping excess of the hydrogen, we can get rid of that, and then pump out the oxygen into the top of there, hopefully. And the way we get infinite water is we make a three by three by three pool, and then put a pump over it, which we can very easily do. So how do we make a pump? Shouldn't be hard. Pump. We need iron tanks. Right, that's easy. We can do that now. Um, in fact, I think we can actually do that now. Wait, there we go. Tank, we need two of them. Pump. We need an iron gear. Then, we've literally got everything we need. Cool, we got a pump. So that needs to be hooked up probably to the MG energy producer from the RF. So just sort of here. Um, so we need to create a pool, which we could put here. Um, let's just fill it with cobble for now. It doesn't have to look pretty. In fact, we need to break it a bit further this way so we can reach the edge. We could have chiseled it, but it's temporary for now. We'll shimmy around stuff. I just want to get it working. Where's my chisel? There it is. We can make ourselves some more of this zag. Is that the one? Yep. In fact, we can go ahead and just chisel it. In fact, let's just, yeah, let's chisel it this. I'm going to do that off camera, but anyway, we're going to basically put the pump there put water in there and then have a fluid pipe run straight up across and in that's what we're going to do i'm going to do that now so none of the pipes that i tried i tried to build craft fluid pipes and they wouldn't connect to the purification chamber to pump oxygen in so i just resorted by putting the purification chamber next to the electrolytic separator and hoping that that works i don't know so i've sort of rejigged everything a little bit here made it a little bit less neat but anyway we need to put the water in there we go so this should be yes this is now pumping let's just grab one of these up for water bucket purposes but this should now this looks this is a much better animation than i'm used to this should hopefully now convert it into uh oxygen and hydrogen and then put oxygen into the purification chamber hydrogen and it's yes it's working that's good right and then I heard that there's a gas burning generator right this guy that uses hydrogen to burn so we can hook up uh, one of them there just to give us a bit a bit of extra power so I need to get another one of these electrolyte cores but then everything else I can get pretty easily and voila Everything is working. It's actually working very well. So yeah, there we go. We got the pump doing its thing. Going into the electrolytic separator here. That is sucking up a load of power. But it's also creating power back with the hydrogen. But it does mean we're going to need more power. Which is then going to be next episode's job. But we're getting loads of oxygen. And that is... Yeah, it's made us... A bunch of iron ingots which is good let's do a test show how it triples it uh, so this should spit out uh, in the end it should spit out uh, 12 copper so if we put that all in it goes into there and gets purified there we go so we got three and then it goes through the pipes into the crusher which does make a hell of a lot of noise <laughs> it's definitely not going to get tiring i also found out by the way that the auto eject doesn't work with billcraft pipes so i just added in some redstone engines it's no big deal yeah and then we go into here 
and we've got some dirty copper dust which is going to get hopefully purified into enriched sorry into normal copper dust and then that just gets smelted up into copper ingots so yes that's brilliant it works our ore tripling setup is done so in the next episode we are definitely going to have to work out some better power here because at the minute we just got various generators doing their thing but yeah that is all i've got time for today by the next episode this quarry will have finished it's already done quite a bit whilst we've been here working away but yeah it's going well it should be good and is this backing up no it's going well it's because we've been getting a crap ton of andesite which we we definitely have to find a use for i mean we could macro crew split into um into our power you know or you can rock crush it into cobblestone does that work in a pulverizer as well it doesn't look like it so a rock crusher into cobblestone may be a way to get rid of the andesite and granite but anyway that is all we got time for today i've been toby thank you so much for watching this episode of modded and yeah i'll see you in the next one have a good one see ya